They played a big role in American history and helping create a nation and protect the freedoms that we have today. But there's not much known about them or the incredible sacrifices they made for the country that they loved. The Buffalo Soldiers were originally members of the U.S. Army 10th Cavalry Regiment, which formed in 1866. The all-African-American cavalry then continued to serve the U.S. until 1944. Jackie Jones Hook, daughter of William Jones, a former Buffalo soldier and Korean War POW, began plans with her father in 2009 to open the Buffalo Soldiers Museum here in Tacoma to honor her late father who died in 2012 and the rest of these heroes who still don't have much of a place in U.S. history textbooks. America has had an interesting history but I think most importantly about those who serve this country, those who've made a contribution. And as we look at the museum for past history, we hope that it will be a place where people reflect on what am I doing to serve America today? How am I giving to my country? How am I giving to the community? How am I helping those who need help, who have, who are hopeless, and certainly learning about the struggles from the past. The museum opened in 2012 with a mission to help members of the Tacoma community learn about who the Buffalo Soldiers were and how they played a huge role during not only wartime, but during times of peace as well. The Buffalo Soldiers were uh, some of the first National Park Rangers. A lot of people don't know that story. So for several years before uh, there were park rangers, the Buffalo Soldiers' assignment to the military was to be the National Park Rangers, to include um, Sequoia National Park, of course right here in Washington, uh, Vancouver Barracks, and patrolling a lot of the national parks um, throughout the United States. The Tacoma Buffalo Soldiers Museum features pictures, weapons, commendations, and a handful of history and information about this group of American heroes. Located in Tacoma's Hilltop neighborhood, this six-room museum not only displays the story and courage of these American heroes, it also incorporates culture and community into a neighborhood that many still have misconceptions about. They're still apprehensive about the location because it's a perception of the hilltop and it's a dangerous place. Uh, another challenge has been actually getting the community that's right here in the center of this thing to get involved, and that's primarily the African-American community. And then uh, the lack of true volunteerism and just the general lack of knowledge of the impact of the Buffalo Soldiers because of the long history. We have a tendency to think of just to now, of today. We don't realize that our current future is dependent upon what has happened in the past. Of the many things that sets this museum apart from others is the fact that the staff and board members largely consist of volunteers who not only have a passion for history, but also a desire to help educate and bring the community together. And all of the history that you can visibly see, and, uh, and it's a story, and it's all blackness. And yet it's a part of the history to know that Joe Lewis was a participant, Colin Powell, there are many others that people are really not aware of, and it's all here. For Northwest Now Digital First, I'm Chris Anderson.